it is Friday, January 11th. It is 9.28 a.m. I am about to get out of bed. I did not go to school today. I didn't really feel like going. Sorry, my dog is loud. Um, I didn't really feel like going, so I stayed home. And I think my dog needs to go outside or something, so that's why I'm getting up. I was just watching some YouTube in bed. Um, I think I've been up since like 8.45. But yeah, so I'm going to get up and start my day today. Um, not much going on. Going to relax all day. Cannot wait for it. Literally just excited just to do nothing. And then... I'm going to Avery's house for dinner later, and I'm also spending the night, I think, at her house. So, maybe we will... <laughs> George. Maybe we will vlog some of that, and maybe I'll vlog getting ready, but I also don't know if I'm going to get ready. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. So, right now, I'm just going to wash my face like I do every morning. I use the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Facial Cleanser. It's this one, this like blue green one. I like this Morning Burst specifically because it's hydrating and my skin gets really dry, so that's nice. So yeah. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later now. I drank my coffee, ate some breakfast. I'm about to actually make some lunch, but um, it is 12.30. I am still in my pajamas. I have no reason to get ready yet, but this is the first vlog of 2019. That's crazy. 10 days, or no, 11 days in, 2019 and I haven't made anything yet and I actually have been wanting to make this part of a video and I just haven't. Basically I just want to do an overview of 2018 kind of and I want to share my 2018 resolutions and then I want to share my 2019 resolutions and even though they're kind of personal and stuff I think that maybe if I say on here that I want to do it maybe I will actually do it. But who knows? So, anyways, 2018. Hmm. That was an interesting year for me. Um, it was the first time in my life that I had a job for the entire year. Um, I worked at the same place the entire year. And... I made new friends this year at work and just in different places. Um, I went through a lot this year. The beginning of the year started out rough and then um, I thought it let up a little bit and it got rough again. And then I went on vacation with Avery. That was fun. <laughs> um, what else? In the end of July to August, I went on a mission trip with my youth group to Atlanta, Georgia. That was fun, really fun. And um, little did I know that at the end of this year, um, life was going to get hard again. So, 2018. I will not miss 2018. And I am just excited to start new this year. Start off 2019 with positivity, um, with goals that I really want to meet. Goals that I've already started working on that I have met thus far in these 11 days. And I know that I might go through some things this year. I mean, a lot of things are changing. I'm graduating from high school. But... I want to make this year count. 
I want to focus on the good. And I just hope that whatever God throws at me, I can look at more as I'm strong enough for this or he wouldn't give this to me. And just maybe hopefully all these things that happened last year that changed, maybe I can see the good in them this year and maybe um, see that everything I went through was worth it. And that's something that would be ama and it would be an amazing feeling to know that that was worth it because it was just really hard. Just ending the year was hard and um, I'm just, I'm excited for 2019. I'm excited for this new year. I'm excited to change. I'm excited to be more positive and I'm excited just to see where life takes me. So with that being said, that might've been kind of deep or it might've made no sense. Who knows? Let's go back and look at my resolutions. 2018 resolutions. Eat healthier. I failed at that. I literally, last year I think, I think I started off strong like most people do and then I dropped it so hard and I just didn't care. Even, I wanted to get in such good shape for the beach and I think it got to March and I was like, I don't care. And then June came along and I knew we were going to the beach at the end of the month and I hated the way I looked and I still just ignored it and I really wish I hadn't done that but because now I look back at these pictures and I'm like should have done something about that Bethany this year anyways exercise more um definitely not as much as the year previous but um I did okay I exercised here and there towards the end of the year you know everyone loses it I did lose it but that's okay read the bible more and write about it hmm i think everyone struggles with this and i i really think i failed myself in all of these categories and all of these resolutions but i definitely do know that i read it more i don't think i have a better grasp on it like i wish i had and i definitely didn't write about it too much i literally don't have very many entries at all in here from 2018 because this is also my journal. Stress less. Hmm. Nope. Didn't do that. Stressed all the time. Actually, my stress got worse this year. My anxiety got worse this year. I stressed more this year. Drink more water. Not sure why I wrote this. Definitely didn't do that. Definitely am always dehydrated. Still... Don't really care about that one. Ooh. Love myself for who I am. Hmm. Yeah. No. Well, that was depressing. Let's just move on to 2019. Because like I said, we're going to make this better. Also, I wrote a nice big entry on... New Year's Eve, just about 2018 and everything. And, you know, before I move on to 2019, although 2018 was hard, it did teach me to appreciate what I have because you never know you never know how long that's gonna be around. You have to appreciate the things around you. You have to appreciate the things that you were blessed with, the things that God gave you, the people around you. And I learned that I need to appreciate things more. I need to be more grateful and not so concerned about what I don't have. Okay, now let's get on to my 2019 resolutions. Okay, first one. Grow closer with God through scripture, prayer, etc. Once again, need to work on it. I need to work on reading the Bible. I need to work on understanding him, understanding his plan, accepting his plan. Maybe I won't always understand it, but I need to learn to accept it and just lean on him more because I definitely feel as though I don't do that enough. I need to lean on him when I'm going through good things, not just bad things. And that's what it's about. So that's what I need to do. Journal. So this is actually something I really, I'm serious about. Like, I just want to be able when I'm older to go 2019. Hmm. That was a big year. I wonder what happened. And then, boom, like find journal on it. Like be able to read 
the journal and go, oh, wow, I forgot that happened that day or something. So I have journaled every day since January 1st through the 10th. I have not journaled yet today. I need to do that. And I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to try to do all of January and hopefully try to keep it up. Um, I kept saying last year in different times of the year that I was going to journal and I was just so distracted. I, I didn't. I got too lazy. And now, you know what? I'm making it more of a priority and hoping that it stays more of a priority. Exercise and eat healthy. Ones that were on last year's that I definitely didn't complete as much, but I'm working on it this year. I'm actually right now doing a 30 day ab challenge, 100, 30 day 100 ab challenge. And it's actually with, I'm not sure if you've heard, but heard of her, but Blogilates, um, that YouTube channel, I forget what her, oh, it's like her name's Cassie, I think. And I've been doing that every day of January so far. I even did it today already. So I have 11 days going strong. It takes like 10 minutes tops. And what it is, it's a different ab move every day but 100 reps of that move. So I've stuck with that and I hope to find a challenge each month. I wish she would do a challenge each month, like make February like arms and March legs and stuff. Then I would have something to go off of. But either way, I'm gonna try to do like one move a day. And I know I might not see as much progress with that, but at least I am exercising. So, and eating healthy, you know, that's kind of hard. Um, I tend to lean on food a lot when I'm struggling and when I'm anxious and when I'm bored, you know, it just is something that makes me feel better. So I definitely need to work on that and work on filling my body with things that are good for me and things that will make me feel better and look better and feel better about myself and, you know, all of those, all of those things. The next one, I have face my anxieties and fears. This is important. Um, like I said, 2018, I struggled with my anxiety a lot. It got worse. This year, I need to work on it. I need to face my anxieties, face my fears, work on them. Try not to be so anxious all the time. Find coping mechanisms that aren't bad for me, like food. Maybe exercise when I'm anxious, stuff like that, that benefits me when I feel that way. Try new things. I really, I don't know what these new things may be, but I want to try to just try new things. If someone says, hey, you wanna do this? I'm like, oh, I can't, I've never done that before. It makes me nervous. Do it, I wanna do it. I want to say I did it and I want to be able to say that I've done these things later in life. Become better in tuned with those and the world around me. This is really important. Um, I just need to focus on the people around me and the things around me and like I said just be more grateful for the things I have and the people and just appreciate them and then I have accept and love myself for who I am don't be so hard on myself so definitely something I need to work on I'm hard on myself all the time I'm just never meet my standards and I need to love myself and just like I said not be so hard on myself because it just takes such a toll on me and I know I need to work on that and those are the things that I want to work on in 2019 and I just hope that in 2020 I can look back on this and say did that did that did that did that I want to at least do four out of these seven resolutions four out of these seven things I'm gonna be able to say I did if I could do seven out of the seven that would be great but my goal is to do a little bit more than half so that is what I'm aiming for in 2019 those are my resolutions um, so yeah this is the first vlog of 2019 gonna be my year gonna stay positive gonna just focus on the good things in life and uh, focus on making the bad things beneficial to myself and that's about it so um yeah so since that portion of the video took so long i'm actually just gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys for another vlog in 2019